Good afternoon, my name's Ryan Willard and I'm an architect from Thinking Hand Studio and today I'm standing in a very historic part of London. Behind me we have Tower Hill, which is the kind of origins of London really. It has its roots dating back to about 2,000 years when we had the first Roman settlements. Then it's had a long history of the monarchs living here. Uh, now currently it's home to the Crown Jewels and a top world heritage site as well as a tourist destination. So it's really, you know, the boundaries of this part of the city once defined what was originally London. When we come over here, behind me what we've got is Tower Bridge, which is the kind of iconic symbol of London, a testament to Victorian engineering with its graceful opening bridge. And then over on this side we've got more contemporary modern London. We've got Renzo Piano in the background with the shard there, and then we've got the lopsided bollock to the side of my head there, which is the town hall, the GLA, designed by Norman Foster and also if we kind of go around you can kind of see there you can see the, the, the top of the gherkin we've got Leaden Hall and then we've got the walkie-talkie building the building that destroys cars with its convex concave facade and magnifying the sunshine onto it and what's interesting about this part of town is that it's layered it's got these layers of history from the very ancient the medieval times to the Victorian times to to contemporary times, um, making it called, you know, the word architects like to use is juxtaposition. So all these different histories all melded into one. And we've been talking a lot recently about how human beings are the shaping forces of our cities and our architecture. And here you can see all that different strata, as if you were to kind of cut through a piece of landscape and see all the different levels of um, compression and energy that kind of builds up those patinations that you see in rock formations. We start to see it here in an architectural sense in the city sense. But what fascinates me is that we've got another more ephemeral layer being layered on top as well and that's what I'm talking to you on right now. It's a digital space. It's the digital entities of our smartphones which are really transforming the way that we experience our cities. They transform the way we navigate our cities. They transform the way that we interact and find property now. You have things like Airbnb or Uber and these kinds of apps which give us a, a quick digital response into the physical. And Pokemon Go, how can I forget that? We've got people around here playing Pokemon Go and you've got this beginnings of an augmented reality being layered on top of this architectural space. And I was listening to someone chat the other day, I think it was Kechi Matsuda, and he was speculating about the potential of augmented reality and how it's going to affect architecture and designers. And he was saying that in the future we could have two kinds of architects. One, the more traditional types of architects that's dealing with physical space and the built environment and understanding planning regulations, the legal ramifications of putting up buildings, consulting with, um, with local councils and local people and kind of going for that democratic process of constructing stuff as well as a new form of architect. This is what's really exciting, a new form of architect that is dealing with the digital aspects of our built environment, de dealing with how um, communities are formed online, dealing with how um, augmented realities and digital technologies and our smartphones and our technology start to transform and shape our cities. So I'll leave you with that thought for today. It's quite interesting to speculate upon that. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. My name is Ryan Willard, architect for the Thinking Ham Studio.